Hey guys, Art Gamers here with another video, and today we are playing Life is Strange once again. It's been a long time since the last series on Life is Strange, and I'm just going to restart it now. Uh, I wanted to do this game now, and then see if I can finish it before the new game from Life is Strange, the prequel, before the storm comes, so it's fresh in everyone's mind, and... It's just going to be fun to dive back into this game. I've enjoyed this so much last time we played it. Uh, it's just that it's a long time ago and the back then I didn't really have that great commentary I realized that my audio settings and such were kind of sad and depressing. So I decided to just do it all over. So we're going to start a new game today. Hooray! Amazing. Life is Strange still is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely, just like last time. I still feel at saying that at a decent speed. So just so you know beforehand, I have played this game before, as I already said. Um, the commentary might not be 100% fresh, but I'm just going to see if I can still play through it, as I would always play through it. Um, I actually have like 35 hours on this game, gee. <laughs> no life. So as always, we are waking up in the storm. And from there, we will see what's going to happen. What's happening? And like always, I'll try not to talk when the game characters are talking. Because that's disruptive and stupid. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. But if you know where the lighthouse is, then you know where here is. So that didn't make too much sense at all. Yay. To be honest, I think there's a game sins on this game, like from the game sins channel. Um, that oh gee, don't make noise outside, please. <laughs> I'm actually recording this during daytime and not during nighttime like I usually do. Uh, so you might hear some more noise than usual from the outside right now. Um, yeah, if if she knows what a lighthouse is, then why? Why is she like asking, oh where am I? Oh it's the lighthouse, I'll be safe if I make it there. But if you would choose that, you would have known where the lighthouse is. So that wouldn't be the question at all. Holy moly, that's a tornado. Whoops. Probably not so safe at the lighthouse, ain't it? So we are in class now. I guess that was a dream. Not really much more. Oh, poor cat. She's being hassled. That's not nice. Yeah, it didn't feel like a dream. It felt like a video game because that's what I'm playing. Uh, oh, um, so, uh, hello, control. Okay, sorry, I just struggled with the with the controls. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Meh, it's going to be fine. Um. Seriously though. Oh, I should totally <laughs> take a selfie right now. That's so inappropriate. I do wonder though. Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. That actually seems rather logical if you think about it. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Tagarian process? Um, I actually do know, so that's kind of shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I do know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either I don't know, know this or not, Max. Is 
there anybody oh, who great. knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the Metro Zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. My little camera bag is battered, but still can Hmm. Doesn't look that bad for me. Let's see if we can read some stuff. Oh, people! Oh, the skate! Yeah, I, I totally didn't forget the name. Uh, okay. I'm not going to read through all of this. No, no, okay, that's uh, that's a lot. Let's not read through that. In your textbook, or even online. So, time to get out of class. Yay. Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, I'm no, not really about Max. I'm going to take a screenshot there. I did already, so I'm not really much point in saying it now. Um, I just took a screenshot for the thumbnail, if you want it, why? I'm pretty sure I could... Hmm. Let's speak to Kate, because she could have just got hassled. That doesn't make sense. I didn't. Let's go that way. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Wanna go grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I think she cried looking at her eyes. That's sad. Um, a etched marks. Photo! Yay! Amber forever! Rich Amber forever! <sighs> oh boy. That's going to be fun with a new upcoming game uh, coming up soon. Tap to click the journal. I, I don't think I actually have all the photo ops in this game ever. So we're going to try to get as much of them as we can. I don't think I have them all. I'm not even going to read what a disgusting paper ball have said about Kate. I don't want to speak to you. I'm going to, I'm going out. No, 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 bye. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Really? Why? Shut up. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't really have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Nah, it's going to be fine. I don't really care for the whole speech, to be honest. Um, I just want to get out of class right now. Gee, you let me out. And that was a cringy bit of dialogue. Hello, Dana. And hello. Oh, what's her name again? I don't know. Oh. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Well, that's sure something I recognize from school. Usually I wouldn't have time to do that anyway. Like here in the Netherlands, you are going to be have classes that just continue right after each other. And you're going to have to wait like halfway through a huge school, but they still expect you to be there within like two or three minutes. And it's like, oh, you're late! And, and like a few people from the class just ran all the way through the school. One of them got picked off by the janitor for running into school, but and then like, the whole class is late, except for three kids, which are one 
got taken out of the class by the janitor for running in the hallways. But the only people that were actually on time were the people that broke the school rules by running through the hallways. Like, that's messed up. That's not a good system. So then you've gone to break and you barely have time to actually put your books in your locker. Because you'd have like 20 minutes to like eat and shit. Go to the toilet and such. So you wouldn't even have time to splash water on your face. You'd just be stuck eating. You wouldn't even realistically have enough time to go to the cafeteria to get some food if you'd actually want to eat at the cafeteria. Which isn't as bad as in America, if you're asking. Cafeterias here are generally pretty good with like fruit and vegetable options and uh, various kinds of uh, sandwiches and bread and sometimes even warm dinner of actually like good quality. It does cost a lot more than in some countries though. Let's actually splash water on my face before I get out of hand about school topics. Ugh. I don't like school to be honest. Um, I've had enough bad experiences with school to like be like, oh, Just relax. great, it's about school. You have a gift. Well, you certainly have a gift, but you just don't know what it is yet. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Fun fact! This game actually made my... make me... Oh, damn it. I cannot talk. Fun fact! This game actually caused me to paint my hair blue for a time. It looked awesome, and then I just didn't go to the hairdresser for a while, and my hair grew long, and it looked like shit. And I got to the hairdresser, and I just got the most horrible haircut yesterday. It's not even on both sides. It's not all cut the same length. My hair just suddenly stops halfway in my neck, because I made a mistake cutting. Meaning I don't, like, have my full hair on in, in the back side. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. It's like I've gone from long hair, like shoulder length. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet this is going to escalate. Would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No. I told you, it's going to escalate! Yay! Oh, great. I wonder if my frames are actually better in this Let's Play, because I'm now using a different recording software than I was using last time I was recording Life is Strange. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. <sighs> you just jump time. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. Uh -huh. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit. And that was your camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Yes, yes, you are crazy. I don't care what people say. You are crazy! Okay. Um, yeah. Let's try then. But I'm still, yeah, you are like batshit crazy, Max. You're crazy. I don't need to tell you that again. Actually, me saying that is kind of stupid because I control Max now for like the gameplay portion of this game. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not I'm gonna take a selfie again. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. It's called a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max, 
It's still going to be Louis DK with daguerreotypes, skiffing portrait to sharp reflect the style like a mirror. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? I'd be crying right now if I just found out I had the powers that Max had. I mean, like, for real, that's messed up. Just trace your steps, you don't have to be weird. Um, no, I don't want to answer either of these. These are fucking awkward. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Yep, I expected that. I don't think you can get out, out of the way of that by either of the answers. Like I just said. No, Victoria, you're stuck in the retro zone. You had a sad face because I knew before you. No, I'm going to hold shift of right and a bit faster, as it just well, told Max, me. Since you've captured our yes, um, the Daguerrean process, finally! The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work. No, I mean time traveling as well as posing. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of that. Awesome souls! Deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Why would I pretend to not see you right now? Oh, I don't know. It's time to be an everyday hero. They should probably change the dialogue there. I'll still talk to Kate because otherwise she's going to be messed up. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Yay! I cannot take a picture of that right now. I still want to try to escape. Let me out! No. I knew it. It's not going to happen. I'd never let one of photography's Um, I'm not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. That's actually a really good quote, because I can really apply that in my own life sometimes. Gee. <sighs> I do not want to rewind. I want to walk out of that fucking door. Oh great, it's going to have to show me now for tutorial purposes, which I don't really need. Yay! I'll just interrupt him. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her. Um, I should just like. I wonder, would it allow me to continue on if I just pick the same answer again? I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. But I'm not going to try now because that will make my gameplay video very long. You're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Well, that's not a good faith, because I'll just time travel to give you that answer. No! No! Oh god, I have to sit through that again. Fuck that! Oh, that sucks. Yes, excuse you. 
No, Victoria. It's you have to save Chloe. Come on, let us go. One of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. John Lennon once said. Whatever that's being said right now. Yay! Okay, great. Um, no! I'm too used to using control to start running in Minecraft. Space, space, skip, 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 Bathroom! No! Get out of the way, you silly sausage! No! I have to go to the bathroom! I have to save Chloe! Ooh. Okay. Let's go in and okay. see what I still can do. Every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. And... Shit is going down. Out of this bitch. I can tell everybody, Nathan. I already know. The way out of this is to press the fire alarm to avoid her being shot. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Okay. Look. Let's rewind as far as possible to try to not get her shot. I'm so sick of people trying to tell me what to do. Derp. I failed. Take that. And please rewind before. Yes. Go back. That's not. And I didn't get her shot once. What a lucker. Another shitty day. And that's how he found out that I'm the one that pushed the thing. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Well, it indeed cannot be real because this is a fucking video game. Let's get out of the building. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Well, he was right. Um, I was tripping. Because there is actually a... I just witnessed someone shit someone! Hey! I would totally not be sweating all that. And I would totally not be gofferting guilt. A little stressed out. Let's see. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinball. That seems a bit you simple. You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, right now, I just feel really, really pressured, and I really don't. Hmm. In real life, I'd always report, but I don't think it's a good idea because he's being too pressury. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside Meh. this class. Please. I don't give a shit. I don't know what right, what's right for me right now. No. He does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Bye! We all, we all know this game only lasts five days. So that scholarship can fuck the hell off. 
Oh, I've almost forgot how nice and artsy this game is. It's lovely. And I always, always also, not always, I always remind myself, no, um, I also remind myself right now, um, this game takes a long time to do. It's going to be a shit ton of recording in the coming days. Rachel Amber. Hey, where have we na had that name before? I've seen it on the table just now. I wonder what happened to her. Because I made a photo of it. But she's missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a lot of missing person posters here. So I have to get to my dorm. Uh, let's see if we can talk to a few people here. Or not. Maybe. I'm just going there. Uh, hmm. Too much effort. Hello, Miss Grand. Hi, oh. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. The thing is, surveillance like that is also already unusual. I mean... It could have helped Rachel. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. Exactly. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our souls. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. I don't think that's the right history. But you know a lot. I know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? I am not sure. Fine. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, that will have consequences somehow. Some or rather. <sighs> okay, so we need to get Warren's flash drive. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hello, random person. Let's go. Oh god, let's go! Crazy, crazy, crazy! Okay, no, let's not do that, no. Speak! Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Sorry, I don't have to speak to this guy. It gives some story elements, so just, just ignore, just, just walk over to the person. Without context. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself He'll down. Take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. No! I actually don't. No, let, let's try it again. Hello? That's wrong. Nathan yes. And Somebody then knows. it'll happen. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Wait, what? Speak. Let's talk later, okay, Max? No, I'm going to try it. I want to get story elements. Okay, Max. No! Give me story elements. Oh, you did this. Okay, Max. I don't think I can. Oh. Uh, hello? Max. Let's see. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Pratt. 
Yes. Somebody needs. Okay. Never mind. Huh? Fine. Fine. I guess. Never mind. Bye. Oh, there is a photo up here. I remember. I'm going to take a photo. Okay. Wait. Wait. I think that's actually a pretty good place or entity thing. Because it's already getting quite long. Gee, I forgot how long this game takes to do. Photo! Yay! And you just wasted two bucks on a Polaroid because Polaroids are really expensive. Anyway, I'm uh, pretty happy with this episode so far. I think that's enough for today. Uh, so, I guy guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>